Okay. So when we go down the trail and you're riding, we're going to keep his head straight. So see how he keeps looking at me for food? Yeah. So when we go down the trail, if he starts to look around like that, you're going to correct him and just straighten his head. So if he looks left, you'll pull right. And I'll remind you, if he looks right, you'll pull left. Okay. If they're really scared of something, we're going to stop and then we'll let them look. The reason we don't want them to look while we're walking is because they gated horses keep their feet close to the ground some of them and they can trip because they're not paying attention okay they're paying attention to something mouse. so that's the one thing as we go and we walk because it's wet out if they start to slide the only thing you can do is just pull lightly okay back so the horse knows to slow down but we can't actually stop them it's got to be them stopping themselves and if they're sliding oh i see they can't stop so if you're pulling on them while yeah, you're trying you to might, really get yeah. the balance, you might throw them off yeah, balance. Yeah. They could fall down. So when okay. we pull, we just pull lightly, say whoa, and then we wait till they stop. Okay. What we don't do, and I'll yell if you start to do this, we don't turn. So if you're going down something slick and it's raining or you're going down a hill and it's muddy and the horse starts to slide, you never want to turn their head sideways thinking, oh, I'll just turn yeah, it's like a car. and stop them. Yes, and what will happen is the horse will turn sideways, slide oh. down the hill, and fall down. Okay. Yes, but I tell people, because I didn't tell an experienced rider that once, and that's exactly what she did when we went riding. I was like, are you kidding me? But that's besides the point. Okay, <laughs> when we go downhill, you know, you're sitting like this, straight. When you go downhill, you kind of sit back a little bit on your seat pockets, or if it's a really hard hill, I stand a little bit in my stirrups. Like, I create that much space. So the horse can use its back mm. and then as we go downhill if they're going fast or i feel that they got too much weight on the front end and not enough weight in the back end then i squeeze and relax so i do that half halt every single step until we get down the hill and okay. then i stop doing it okay when we go uphill we're just going to use our legs if we want a gait and again with him his head can stay up here higher so if it started to get bouncy he's on the trotty side we would just raise his head up a little okay. bit yep now and remember don't worry about remembering this stuff because yeah. it's on the video so now if i'm going to get in front of you so you can see me more if we see an object and they're scared the first thing we want to do is go like this and breathe okay it, that tells the horse we're not worried about it but if we go like this yeah it tells them we're scared they're scared and the horse goes let's get the hell out of here and they take off okay so you want to even if you're petrified you want to fake that you're calm okay and there's no problem so I take a deep breath, I sit back in case the horse does spin or does something bad, and you push your weight down in your stirrup. So you're trying to just create your body and your balance all the way around the horse. People hardly fall off from leaning back, but a lot fall off from going like this. Okay. Then what I do is I widen my hands. So if the horse starts to say spin to the right, I just pull out to the left. If right. it starts to spin to the left or go away, I pull out to the right. The reason I don't want to pull back is they usually want to go backwards anyhow and if i pull them and there's pressure on it sometimes they'll run backwards so i just go out to the sides like that okay and that's about it there will be dogs barking and other stuff you're going to stay behind me he's a good follower okay if anything bad happens and he got scared and he shot forward you can run your horse if you can steer right into the back of mr nickel oh okay okay why <laughs> because it'll stop him okay okay <laughs> but if you get past me I can't stop yeah, yeah, to totally. gallop up and catch you. Okay. So it's better to run into him, he'll block him, and if you do it really bad, he'll kick him yeah. and make that horse get back. So it's okay. just like going into the wild. So, but just know, if you pass me, then yeah. I can't stop you. And if they do take off again, because we're on something wet, we don't want to do what they call a one range stop, where you turn their head. Yeah. Because we might so just kind of down. Yeah, and you're going to pull as hard as you can if they took off, which he's not going to. Yeah. But you pull as hard as you can, release it for a second, pull again, yeah. release it and pull. And the reason you keep releasing is because if you don't and the horse is petrified, they grab the bit. When you pull, they feel very claustrophobic yeah. making them stay there. And they just pull against the bit and take off. Okay. So okay. if you pull, release, pull, release, they usually won't grab the bit. And it starts to get them thinking instead of just reacting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To okay. Object, okay. All right. It's sprinkling, but it'll probably stop. Here we go. Yeah. When there's puddles, shorten up just a little more so you're closer in the wet. They will try to go around the puddle. Because why go through a puddle when you can go around it? Go very slow over the mat because that can be slippery. And the mud, you saw he just slipped. Yep. 
so bored. I can walk with a little energy. I've never seen you on a horse in person. I know, it's weird. Right? <laughs> so as we go, you're trying, you can look around, but he can't look around. Yeah. So it's like you're the mom, you're in charge of everything, and you're looking for danger, but you don't want the horse to look for danger because you're the one in charge. You yeah. don't need help doing it. If you start letting them look all around, They'll take over, think you're not going to help them, and they're like, if danger comes, I'm just running away. What I, we're going to do is practice a quick stop, and when I yell now, just, you know, push your feet out, lean back, and stop, okay? Now. Whoa. Yeah, so it's just to make sure you can stop. Oh, good. Now you're going to walk off. As you get up here, all the dogs are going to jump on the fence. He's going to be by. Okay. So, but if you get nervous, breathe in and out through your mouth. Back, you can even talk to yourself whatever you gotta do if you get nervous. No. No. You know who I am. He's afraid of me. What's going on here? There's two little dogs that sometimes pop out, so you know. They'll be fine. But as we get here, it starts going downhill. So that's where you're going to kind of sit back and keep your feet out in front of you. So if they did start to slide, you have something to help balance you. And then since we know the dogs are coming, keep your hands just a little wide. Why doesn't he have shoes on? Oh. <laughs> and, um, oh boy. He came barefoot and his feet are so big to shoe them, it's very expensive. Oh. <laughs> Him, I would just put boots on. Don't very slow, just to see the The other thing, see the straight lines in the road? These black things? Yeah. Those are slippery. So okay. You can avoid them. You want to try to avoid them. If you see a driveway with that on it, you don't want to go through it. Okay. Because they can slide. So now we're just sitting back. And again, if you got fast, just squeeze, relax on the rain. Is it okay if he's really close to you? Yes. Well, now it is. In time, once you know how to ride, we try to keep like one horse space between them. Okay. So there's the goat. So everything that moves, jumps, makes a noise can spook your horse. Okay. The horse sees different than us. They see kind of blurry. And it takes them a while to focus. And to focus, they have to put their head up and down. Their eyes don't focus like ours do. So that's why they try to put their head up and down or yeah. turn. Good boy. To do that right when we leave. Okay. So now we're going to ask them to walk a little bit faster, which would be their flat walk, because we're trying to go out with some energy, energy, so we come back with less energy. And then you can look down because we're looking at the bridge because you know it's a wet day. Don't go so close to that. Okay. Because yep. what you're trying to think as you do it, even though I might have just done it because I'm tired. <laughs> Is wherever there's danger, you're trying to stay in the middle. So if they spin or something, you won't go like into the tree. Okay. Here we're going to stay a little to the right. So if they go to the bathroom, I scoop it off so it makes it easier for them. So again, you can look around, but we don't want to let him look around. They'll go a little faster. You see, isn't it funny? He's big, but he walks slower than Nicholas. They seem completely unfazed. Yep. And then up there, there's cows. They can't see them, but they can hear them. So if they got nervous here, you know, that's what it is. Yep. So you're trying to take it all in, and you're trying to be like your horse's leader. And you're also trying to look, you know, at the footing to help them. So anywhere you see it's black and slick, you're like, oh, I don't think Am I going fast enough? 
I can't really get him to go faster. Yeah. Okay. they've been exposed to over the years. You know, if they've seen lots of ghosts and cows, then they usually don't care about them. I think they're hiding in the shelter. There they came out. <laughs> if a car comes, we will go into somebody's driveway and then just stand there until it passes. So <laughs> here, just keep sitting back and squeeze and relax each step. If it I was more nervous before when I now that I'm riding I'm okay. Oh, once we get going and then you get that hang of it, then you can start chit chatting and stuff. You know, you just gotta pay attention if you see something coming. The biggest mistake I see people do is something's going on, like you see a dog running down a hill and they go, My horse won't spook and they never even shorten their reins up. And the dog scares them because they can't tell it's a dog and they spook. So see, he just slipped a little, yeah. and I just stayed as still as I could, yeah. and let him do it. He's moving his head a lot. That, yes, because you're letting him. So do I pull? Yeah, so, so remember when I said in the beginning, if he looks left, Yeah, so I keep pulling. Yeah, so okay. keep your reins short, and as soon as you feel him turning his head at all, yeah. you start to pull. Okay. What he's feeling is, Loose. like this person's not a real yeah. leader up there, and she's so I'm going to look for danger. Okay. And you don't want that because you want you to decide because you'll know it's a dog and he'll think it's, you know, yeah. a lion or something. Yeah. So you just keep a tighter rein if they're looking all around. I think the little dog usually falls. So right now, like, I'm squeezing Nichols and I'm putting a little spur on him so he can go. Sorry. Up. Huh. Yep, right next to me. So we're ready. We're gonna go together. You ready? Go. And if you have to kick them hard, you kick them hard. So see how you lost? Yeah. So if a car came zooming, you're okay. Like, so it's very like you might be. Well, I don't want to kick them. When I yeah, yeah. Up. You want to get hit by a car? But otherwise, we're here to stick. So I thought we were going on the road. What? I thought we were going on oh, the road. No, we're just Still, because I'm going to close this. 
Oh. He's like not. So all the like side passing and leg yielding, I just and moving shoulders and stuff. I used all of that to get um, him to that gate. Yep, so now you decide, you're in control. Don't let him go where he wants. You make sure you go where you want. Because again, sometimes they'll take you somewhere not so safe. Okay. So now see if you can get him to walk faster. And if you can't, then you're gonna pick up that stick. The car is coming, so I wanna get us up to this driveway. And then we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna turn around and face the car. Yeah, look at the car. Okay. Nope. The only bad thing he went instead no, of on the gravel where it's safe, turn to the right, come back towards me. You went in the muddy grass. Kick it. Hands forward. Look at me. Look at me. Kick it. Kick it. Look at me. Look at me. Kick it. Yep. Because he started going backwards and you were going to go down that. I was stuck in this. Um, stick was stuck in my. Oh. It's okay. It wasn't. It was still my fault. But nope. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Both legs. Come on. Come on. Open that rein. Push with this leg. There you go. Look at this is wide trail. You really have to know what you're doing because if I'm not watching and fooling you or you don't respond with what I'm telling you, you'll do the wrong thing. Yeah. And again, if he's not going, then tell me and we'll stop and you'll carry that stick. Or if the stick is hidden here. But it's hard when they start doing stuff like that, you have to become like the big bad mom and be like, you're going. Because otherwise we'll take you into the bush or something like that. All right, so we're going to try and wear some energy off. So go a little faster. That's good. Sit back a little bit. Yeah. 
then they're going to probably be in the barn below. But if the horses start looking over there, that's usually why. So when it's raining, the road's slippery and the grass and the dirt are slippery because it's muddy. So if you have a choice and there's gravel, you go for the gravel because that gives you track. What about, why don't you do the grass? Versus the road, I mean. Yeah, because there's mud under Oh, okay. So it's worse than... He's left and he walked, did you feel him slide when yeah. we're at the barn? That's what will happen. Okay. slide down the hill. So this group is just going to take little baby steps and go slow the whole way to try to help them not to slide. And then I use shoes that um, have their... They're called rim shoes. And they have a little groove in them, so it helps grab the road. But you can also put like track studs on their shoes so they don't fly. You good? Yeah, he's like, I don't know if he's peeing or... No, he's nope. not doing anything. He's probably just wobbling and licking. Now again, this is one of those driveways, so we're trying to stay you know, away from it. You'll see Nichols is trying to look too. I just won't let him. Hard on rainy days, you saw the arena. That was all mud. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you can work at a walk in there, but that's about it. Or you can ride around the barn if you have gravel around the barn. Or if you have a safe road like this. I wouldn't ride on San Miguel because that would be crazy. Same thing, little half halt, get back, take little baby steps the whole way down. And then you're trying to hold them straight because sometimes they'll wobble back and forth. when they're going slow like this, people want them to go faster and kick them. And I go, don't do that. They're going slow on purpose to keep us safe. Just let them go slow. Well, okay. Yep. So we're going to get down here a little bit by the pole, and then I'm just going to hang a U-turn, and you just follow me, and then we're going to go back up. I turn, I'm looking like I don't want to turn there. The car comes and scares my horse, and I turn in my trolley. But it looks safe here, so this is where I'm going to turn my okay. horse. Yep, so you look up. So he's cheating. So oh. how you didn't make a U turn? He said, let's just turn. They're going that oh, way. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Which is okay in the beginning. Yep, now you're going to walk off. Because they always don't want to leave their partner, so he's just turning. He's like, hey, hey, let's do now. So hey, Nikki, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> so going back off, I let them go a little faster because I'm usually working on the feet. But this is a big speed. We don't have to go any faster than me. So much easier to have to let them to get them to go faster out. Yeah. Okay. You can even if they're going fast and you don't want to go fast and you're catching up too much to the front horse's serpentine. Okay. Behind me and then that way the horse keeps going so it doesn't get upset but it gives you more room. Yeah. And you don't have to, that's just so you know you can do those things. That serpentine I taught you. Started getting really, really fast. It gives them a job to do to try to not be tired. 
No. Okay. Got it. And some people don't know that because they've never ridden in the rain. They go, all you gotta do is do it once and you won't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, that's like going down a slide. So horses in the wild must slip all the time. Yeah, but they're careful. They're, and they're probably good at catching their themselves. That's right. And they fall. Mm. And people would think, well, they'll just go here. You know, we only have so many choices, but out in the wild, they can pick any route they want. Yeah. Around they can duck under trees where right. we're on them. We right, right. So what he's doing there with his breath, yeah. is that normal and fine? Yeah. So it's just kind of a scene. Oh, okay. It's also a release of stress. Okay. So when they do it, it's totally fine. Okay. If they're doing it a lot, then it might be like something in the air, like an allergy. Oh, okay. And then sometimes I'll stop and just let them sneeze if I'm but these are all flower fields. So oh, okay. Lots of pollen and stuff. But I heard the tractor, so I was looking to see where it was and to see if it was going to do something weird, like, you know, pick up yeah. the front end or something. And some people, once I teach them all this, they become a little paranoid in the beginning. And I go, it's not to make you paranoid, it's just so you're aware. Yeah. going down at a good speed, I don't have halt, right? I, well, if they're changing speed, I yeah. would. Okay. Yeah, okay. But if they're staying the same speed and you're happy, and it feels like he's balanced underneath you, which takes time to heal, then it's fine. Yeah, okay. I use those half halts all the time to so just have the brakes. Like, hey, pay attention, horse. Hey, slow down, horse. Hey, stay the same speed. Okay. So you're going to walk through and then keep going until you get on the road because sometimes you sink otherwise. And then you'll try to stand there and you won't Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy. So now we're going to go straight. But that's why all that arena stuff is so important because if you can't do it well there, much harder out here. So we're going to get up here, stop for a second, and then we'll run across if nothing is coming. So I just look and then I listen. Whoa. Okay. There's, oh, let's go. We got it. Okay, now once you get up here, you're going to walk and then wait for me. Whoa. Now stop. Whoa. Stop, he's got to stop, even if he's thrown his head. Yep, because I want to get in front of you. Okay. So, whoever's first needs to be a good leader and a confident leader. And on your first trail ride, you never ever want to be first. I don't, don't want to be away. first ever. No. So, that's why I wanted you to make him stop. Yeah. Because you don't know what to do. So, it's much better to follow. Of course. And then also have someone to walk to Some people don't know that. I don't know. If you get up there and you don't know what to do, this is like, I know you're not doing that, I'm just doing it. But that lead person's not good. That was, so 
starts freaking out, the horse behind him, then goes, those two are not good, I'm out of here. Yeah. Now he just swooped at this, so I'm going to go over there. Because he's not afraid of things, but it's mm -hmm. tilted over. So I just want him to know, hey, it's a garbage can. If you run from it, we're just going to go around it. So if he keeps walking, you start doing this to make it uncomfortable for him to keep going. Yeah. And they gotta get used to it. But if you release when they pull, they will always pull. If when they pull. And that way that thing where you go like this, there's a lot of things. Like if you was pulling it would stop it. If you were running up my butt, it would probably help with that too. You're just trying to make anything you don't want them to do uncomfortable for them and not a reward. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Even though she knows her dog, she's just like, ah, I don't know. She's Miss Boss, but then. Yes, but she needs a good leader. She's funny. Yeah, on the ground, she's the boss, but under saddle, she's not a boss. What we're going to do is we're going to go back in, and we're going to go in the arena, and we're going to try to walk them through the puddle. Okay? We'll usually try to walk around them instead, because why walk through a puddle if you don't have to? And they see puddles different than us, so sometimes it just looks like a big black hole to them. Push him forward and just follow me. Yep. And they both go through the water, but again, sometimes they do. It's like, why go through when we don't have to? So we're going to walk through this little half of water. And you're going to keep your right leg a little and your left leg to get him. So more left leg, be mean. Harder. Come on. Come on. Harder. No. Okay, so stop for a second. So he's going that way. Yeah. So instead of having your hand so wide now, just use the right rein. Have your left rein against him and think of a leg yield. So and your right leg off and bump with your left leg. Just this leg. Yep. And look at me. Yep. All right. Keep after him. Now you're in. It's a difference if you know how to ride or not. So you're just trying to keep him in the middle of the water So keep your left leg on and your right leg open if he's trying to do that. I'm going to wait for you because if a horse is scared, which he's not, but the, then the closer you are to the front horse, the better they feel. Yeah, yeah. So you're just going to keep following me. <laughs> So again, we keep it wide, but if they're going just one direction, then we try to block the direction we don't want them in. Okay, so now we're going to go back through it. So as you get here, you might have to open your left rein and bump with your right leg if you want to go in the water. water by yourself. Okay. So it'll be harder because he's yeah. gonna see me standing there like why can't I go with them? Okay. And then you look up and be me. Okay. Yep. 
So right rein, left leg, make him walk all the way through. Because you saw, he just did it. So he's just testing you, it's not like he's scared. And then when you get down there, he'll turn around and come back. So this is more like Good boy. Like yeah. To swim. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Try and go back through it one more time and then we'll swim. Yeah. Yep. You're doing much better. If you can handle kids, you can handle kids. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle kids. It's really the takeaway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 